Okay, sorry about that, the phone's ringing. Um, and this is OPI's Chocolate Shakespeare. This one's more of a neutrally shimmery color. And then this color I have on my toes. It's um, NYC's Hint of Mint. And it's obviously a mint green color. And then this color is Sally Hansen uh, Hard as Nails Extreme Wear Nail Color in Lacy Lilac. And I have that on my ring finger. So it's a pale lilac purple. And then the last nail polish is a top coat. Um, from Hard Candy, and it's the matte one. Um, this makes any nail polish matte. So I've been loving matte nail polishes lately. So this is awesome. Uh, then we're gonna jump into skincare. Um, so my new favorite moisturizer is um, the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. This is the pump one. So that's pretty self-explanatory. And this is the one for oily skin. I do believe, yes. Combination oily to oily skin. Um, and then this has been a favorite for a while. It's the Neo Cuticle Skin Brightening Gel. And this is amazing. Um. Let's go into brushes. So these are my three like all-time favorite brushes. Um, two of them are MAC, and they're the only two MAC brushes that I own. Um, so the first one is the MAC 239, the number's worn off. It's the flat shadow brush. And the next one is the MAC 109, the um, contour brush. I love this for contour and blush or highlight or just all over powder. Um, and the next brush is an elf brush. It's um, a professional, uh, it's the professional blending eye brush. one of the dome shaped pencil like ones for um, blending in the crease. Uh, so let's go into face products. This um, is the Hard Candy Glamouflage Heavy Duty Concealer and this is the light one. This stuff is amazing and this tube is going to last forever. Uh, this is comparable to the um, Kat Von D Tattoo Concealer I've heard. I've never tried that, but this is seriously a heavy duty concealer, and it's amazing. Um, the other two face products that I have here. Oh, actually, I skipped a brush. This is the Physician's Formula... Um, flat top something brush. I don't know what it's called, but it's blue, if that helps. <laughs> uh, and this is amazing for like all over face powder or um, blending in foundation and whatnot. Um, so this is my favorite bronzer. It's the Rimmel Natural Bronze in Sun Bronze. Um, and it has no shimmer to it. I use that for contouring. And then my new favorite blush I just got. It's um, a Hard Candy Baked Blush in Living Doll. And it's, um, looks a little intimidating. But it just gives a nice, um, pink sheen to the cheeks. Uh, my favorite, um... Thing to use for a base under my eyeshadows is the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk, which is the white one. 
Uh, my favorite eyeshadow that's not in the palette is Wet n Wild's Nutty. Comes in a square um, packaging like this. And it's um, sort of a shimmery, taupey color. Taupey brown. Depending on how you look at it, it looks a little gray. And then my favorite um, palette of eyeshadows um, is the Urban Decay Naked palette. Uh, it has 12 colors. I don't think I've used them all. I've used a few of them. But, yeah, and I, I did get the one with the brush, but it's dirty. The only thing I don't like about this is the velvet packaging collects a lot of dirt and dust. I don't know if you can see right here. Um, and my favorite eyeliner is the Hard Candy Hot Smudge Cream Liner, and this is the uh, Rocker Chick one. I like the black. And the last thing is my favorite lipstick. Um, and this is just for like every day. This is Max Angel. It's a, um, I guess I'll swatch it for you. It's a frost. So it's a pink, um, like a neutralish pink color. So yeah, that's it for my favorites. Um, leave me a comment or a video response um, with your favorites. And until the next video, I'll see you later. Bye guys!